All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here. It's Friday, this is day three of our total body training. Uh, so we trained on Monday, our whole body on Wednesday, and today's Friday, we'll get this video up today. So this is gonna wrap up the little experiment for the week, it's been fun. Um, I'm gonna create a separate video and we're gonna upload that tomorrow. So you're not gonna have to wait too long to hear my thoughts on total body training in general. Um, so we're gonna get started. Uh, Monday, we started off with kind of a push exercise and then we sequenced, sequenced everything from there. Wednesday, we started with legs. Today, we're gonna start with a pull exercise and we're gonna kind of do our sequencing from there. So looking forward to another good workout. So let's get to work. All right, so we're gonna start off with a row. I, want, I would like for you to do use a, a chest supported row. Now, if you, if you don't have this, um, you might have like one of those chest supported T-bar rows. Most gyms have that. I just want something where your chest is supported. And I also want you using a neutral grip, or not, I'm sorry, not neutral, pronated. So I want you pulling like this. If you remember on Monday, we, that's when we used the neutral grip on the row where we pulled like that. And then Wednesday we did a, uh, a chin up. Um, so today the grip changes to pronated and this is gonna get more upper back. So your rhomboids, uh, your rear delts, your lower traps, and it still hits your lats to a degree. So just think upper back thickness. So that's how, that's how we're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna work our way up to uh, kind of a tough eight, maybe leave a rep or two in a tank and hit three sets there. And uh, anyways, good full range of motion too. Good stretch, good squeeze. I wanna see perfect form. Okay, so we're moving on the chest. We're gonna do a flat dumbbell press. It's a basic flat dumbbell press. Monday we did a barbell incline. Tuesday we did a machine incline. So let's get, uh, let's get a flat movement today for some good variety. Good full range of motion on the dumbbell presses. We're gonna do kind of the same thing we did with the, with the row. Work up and hit about three sets of eight with a good weight. Maybe uh, leave a rep or two in the tank. Get a little bit of volume today. So. Off the dumbbell presses. Okay, that's our working weight. That's your, a good weight right there. That's a, your working weight. My working weight. <laughs> okay, we're moving on the shoulders. We're doing a dumbbell press uh, overhead. When I do these, I like to come down to about ear level right here. I find that if I come down lower, I have shoulder problems. My shoulders start to hurt. So for me, the right range of motion is right here to ear level. Come up and squeeze my delts. Kind of bring your arms up and arc like that. And we're gonna do three sets of 10. Again, leaving a couple reps in the tank, getting a little bit of volume in, three sets. So I have the angle up pretty high on this. Um, the one thing I would tell you about these shoulder presses too is, a lot of people think shoulder presses are your whole shoulder. It's absolutely not true. There's zero rear delt involved with pressing. If you look at the way your arm is set up, your shoulder, this is what's lifting against gravity, this right here. Back there is doing nothing. So I just want to caution you into thinking that an overhead press is good for your whole shoulder. It's not. It's front and a little bit of side delt. It's this right here. That's what's pressing. There's zero contraction back here. So. Set number three. When you do arms, specifically the next exercise we're gonna do, you have to measure them first. 
So let's see where I'm at. Now, obviously I'm not cold. I've been doing a lot of pressing. So we're gonna throw this around. Looks like we're at about 20 and a quarter there. Um, so let's see where the arms are after we're done with our tricep and bicep exercise. All right. All right, so we've moved on to line extensions. Um, I like the kettlebells. If you don't have kettlebells, you could use dumbbells too. Um, we've done multiple sets to warm up our elbows. If you follow my program and you know that I don't like doing these first for triceps, I'd actually rather do them third when your elbows are warmed up. But if you think about it, we've already done dumbbell presses, we've done shoulder presses. So there is a good amount of blood in our elbows. Now, having said that, we still did multiple warm up sets to make sure our elbows were good and warm. So now we're gonna do three sets of 10 here. Um, I love these because you can just get more of a stretch, more of a range of motion. They feel a little awkward the first time you do them, but once you hit that groove, they feel really, really good. So kettlebell lying extensions. <clears throat> So when you're doing these, get your stretch and make sure you're kicking up to your forehead. Don't come back that way or you lose tension on your tricep. Just come straight up. See how his elbows are positioned? This is keeping the stress on his tricep that the angle he's got is humorous. Right there, set of 10, right like that. Good. All right, so now we're doing biceps. Incline dumbbell curls, I like to um, kind of flare my arms out a little bit this way. Um, try to get a pretty good stretch on these. But um, we're gonna do three sets of about 12 on these. These burn and they put a really nice stretch on your bicep. So incline dumbbell curls. burning ah. Ah. <clears throat> ah. Ah. Ooh. fire okay let's see what they're measuring twenty and a half so I, I got like a quarter inch pump not my best pump but it's okay. My arm's still pretty good. So there you go, there's the arm pump. All right, now we've moved on to legs. So Monday we did the stiff-legged dead. Well, it's kind of more of a Romanian deadlift in the trap bar. Wednesday we did le the heavy leg curls. I do kind of still feel the leg curls a little bit today. And we did uh, heavy squats. So today we're gonna do a leg extension and a lunge. Um, the lunge, I'm going to take kind of medium steps so I get a little bit of glute. If you want more quad, just take shorter steps. If you want less quad, just take bigger steps. I'm, I'm somewhere in the middle. I actually feel pretty good on my glutes. So we're going to do 10 reps here. And then we got a little track right here, a uh, little turf. So I'm just going to go down the turf. I don't know how many steps it is, but it's a lot. So. We're gonna do three rounds here. We've already done warm-ups. We've already done several warm-ups, so our knees are warm, everything's good to go. Oh, oh man, that burns. Oh, it may not look bad, but that burned. Okay, that's it for today. 
Um, make sure you check back tomorrow. I'm gonna have my wrap up, um, kind of what my thoughts are on the uh, total body training splits. So I'll try to get up pretty early tomorrow. Um, anyways, it's been fun. Make sure you check out my final review tomorrow. I hope you all have an awesome weekend. As always, I appreciate your support very much. Thanks for all the comments and uh, keep cranking.